In Kenya's double refugee camp, the thousands of new Somali refugees are struggling as food insecurity worsens. As Somali suffers its worst uh, drought in years, Somali refugees have fled over the border to Kenya. In recent months, 135,000 have arrived at Dabab, one of the world's largest refugee camps located 90 kilometers from the Somali border. The camp is home to 360,000 registered refugees and many more unregistered. In February, the Kenyan government resumed refugee registrations at the camp, allowing the new arrivals access to food aid. The World Food Programme says rations have been caught from 80% uh, to 60% of the daily nutritional requirement due to reduced donor funding. The immediate impacts we see is household food insecurity. Because families that used to prepare probably three meals a day have now reduced to prepare either two meals or a meal a day. And that's quite extreme. We also observe families from our monitoring who are now increasingly borrowing food from friends, relatives, or even begging for food because the food that we give is not able to last the 30 days, but it takes about uh, 15 to less than 20 days. We are facing uh, difficulties with the funding landscape. We have fewer resources to be able to manage these cases, including human resources, but also the commodities that we use to treat malnutrition. Um, how we're handling it right now is, uh, well, we have to work with the little that we have. And as the International Rescue Committee, we're trying to come up with innovative solutions to handle this influx and still be able to give our clients the care that they need and help them to recover from these um, uh, challenges that they have with their nutritional status. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.